Thanks for joining another episode of Cap Tech. Today we're going to look at an introduction to Chicago culture. A lot of folks know Chicago as the Windy City, but it should be noted that there's some debate as to whether it's known as the Windy City because of windy politicians or the actual, you know, wind gusts that come through off of Lake Michigan. The controversy still burns. A very interesting aspect of Chicago culture is that we view ourselves as a second city. We even named the uh, comedy club that featured uh, Bill Murray, Michael Myers, Tina Fey um, as a second, uh, as second city. Um, we have a quote here from Mike Ditka um, referring to his, uh, his guys, the Chicago Bears, being a, a team of Grabowskis instead of Smiths. Um, so there's a, a motivation um, that comes with being second, um, you know, or be, having an immigrant name. Um, and I think that that's um, something Chicago culture tries to tap into. In reality, however, I don't know how much of a second city we really are. I mean, the Cubs have won a uh, championship, uh, Bulls have won plenty, Sox, Bears, got a couple, uh, looks like uh, real small minor teams that haven't, but um our lovable losers, um, shtick has kind of faded. Um, so I don't know if that's going to cause us some uh, confusion with our identity as a sec as second city, um, but it'll be interesting uh, to watch um, as time goes on. Uh, Chicago is home to the show Shameless. If you want to see some more about it, um, you can even go see the uh, house that um, they use in the show. Very interesting uh, little tidbit of uh, Chicago pop culture there. This a guy that's lived in uh, a few different cities, metro areas. Um, I just want to say Chicago uh, food, especially Greek Town, got to give them a plug, has been uh, second to none, although I admit I haven't been to uh, New York, but um, Chicago cuisine is just awesome. Another good part of Chicago is, I mean, statistically speaking, what are the odds that it's going to burn down twice, regardless of what other problems it may have? But like any other major Tier 1 city, uh, there is an issue with traffic. Chicago also has an issue with snow. Um, in the late 70s, uh, there was actual, uh, actually a mayoral change because the blizzards were so bad and the roads were so bad and the shoveling were so bad. It's how Jane Byrne got into office. A little Chicago politique for you. And speaking of big city problems, you see where I lived when I was in Chicago there, but let's dive a little further into um, charts and graphs here. Look at how the murder rate and the uh, housing price have been going up as of late. You would really think one or the other of those would have to go down. Um, not, uh, not great looking graphs for Chicago, but uh, let's get into some better stuff so I can quit on a high note here. Chicago has top-tier educational facilities, universities, uh, such as University of Chicago and uh, the Harvard of the Midwest, Northwestern. Additionally, as a Tier 1 city, Chicago has great museums, aquariums, planetarium, um, just a, a plethora of things to choose from um, on the uh, museum front. And in closing, I leave you with a view of my favorite a uh, piece of Chicago culture, the beautiful one and only Wrigley Field, Chicago. Thanks for watching.